Syrian President Bashar al-Assad was once a man with many friends in the region, Iran, Hezbollah, and Hamas among them. That was when he seemed to control Syria with an iron fist, and all of his countrymen supported him. Now, with Syria's civil war two years old, things have changed for Assad. The rebels are gaining ground, and even old allies like Russia are hinting it's time for him to go. According to the London Times newspaper, another key ally has deserted Assad, the organization Hamas, and its influential authoritarian leader, Khaled Mashal. Hamas is classified as a terrorist group by Israel, the U.S., and most of America's allies, but its political wing is the acknowledged leader of the Gaza's territorial government and a key player in regional politics. The Muslim world considers Hamas's military wing, which are usually called the Al-Qassam Brigades, among the best fighters in the Arab world, not least for their decades of experience fighting an insurgency against Israel. According to news reports, more than 100 veteran Al-Qassam Brigade officers now are in Damascus, training Syrian rebels in the best tactics to use against Assad's still powerful Syrian army. The training is taking place in tunnels and is part of a ramp up by the Syrian rebels for an assault on the city itself. Observers say Hezbollah, which is based in south and east Lebanon and has long challenged Israel's control of the Golan Heights, is still for the most part remaining loyal to Assad. Like Hamas, classified by many countries a terrorist group, Hezbollah is led by Hassan Nasrallah, whom many Muslims consider the author of Hezbollah's fierce resistance to Israel in 2006. With the independence of Hezbollah always his top priority, Nasrallah is a canny survivor. He has always tried to maintain good relations with Assad and other players in the region as long as they have stayed in power.